before I start with this video of mine, I would request my viewers to watch the first video in this series that is toxic masculinity to understand how toxic masculinity leads to crisis of manhood and what are the factors causing it. The link is in the description box below. Now commencing the video, I would like to draw your attention to how we as a community and individuals can sweep off toxic masculinity and put an end to the crisis of manhood. Firstly, we need to understand that gender roles are imposed upon us from childhood and they inform us how to navigate the world around us. Enforcing gender stereotypes on men is a harmful form of sexist language that leads to toxic masculinity. For instance, many a times fathers put the responsibility of taking care of their daughters and wives on their sons while they are away. Why is it so? Why are men often burdened with the responsibilities which aren't really meant for them? Your son might be as naive and little too scared as your daughter while you are away. He might be a little too sensitive about your not being present on the cricket special Sundays or during the bedtime video games. This was just a teeny tiny example while there exist so many instances where the responsibilities and duties of a man dominate the emotions they are allowed to feel. In my survey to what men expect the society to understand, I got several replies that depict their expectations of being heard and understood as their true selves. They want us to understand that not all men are bossy and strong. Even they are sensitive to the core and even they cry their heart out. They want us to understand that not all statements by men should be considered as oppressive and misogynistic. That's wrong. It's demanded of the society to take female or male rapes seriously. Yes, they have. Men want us to understand that not all men are womanizers. The court needs to apprehend that even fathers can take care of their beloved child equally as their mothers. Thus, the court needs to change their outlook before passing some prejudiced judgments. The male community wants us compassionate individuals to understand that even men need help with their mood swings, trauma and depression. Today, male suicides are increasing because somewhere men are unable to reach out to their loved ones for help by fearing the tag of not man enough. It's high time that men aren't considered weak if they are gathering the courage to seek help because before men, they are humans. Dear viewers, please understand that it's a very big deal when from childhood men are burdened with the responsibility of the entire household or are expected to be the head of the family and burdened with the entire earnings. It's not easy. Why is it always that men should be the breadwinner? Why can't they use their knowledge elsewhere and put themselves in the shoes of their wives? Why can't more men be doing women's jobs? Is it not manly enough to feed your prejudices? Dictionary defines manly as the word denoting qualities traditionally associated with man such as courage, vigor and strength. Trust me, men who have the courage and the spirits to break the conventional boundaries are more manly than you can ever think of. Over the years as I grew up, I have never seen my father cry even when the worst setbacks hit him. I have never seen my guy friends cry even when they were hurt badly by their loved ones. Why don't they cry? The fact is, they do. They just hide it from us. Because? Because the fact is that they have recognized themselves in a way that they are conscious to bend out in front of others. Even if tears well up their eyes, they control and hide it. And that's toxic. I humbly request my viewers to join me in making a world where men can feel their emotions and celebrate their vulnerabilities. Let's join hands. Let's join hands in not only making it a beautiful place for women but also for men. Lastly, I would like to end this video by saying that the roles that we women and men play in the society are not biologically determined. They are socially determined, changing and changing. Thank you. Thank you so much for watching the video till the end. If you like this video, please don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe to my channel if you haven't done it yet. As I'm a growing YouTuber, your subscription means a lot to me. Thank you. And until the next video comes, lots of love. Bye-bye.